to speak, pretend that I'm dreaming. Hey guys, it's Viv, and today I'm here with Melody and Paisley, and for today's video, we are kind of recreating one of our most popular, actually the most popular video on our channel, which is back to school hairstyles and outfits. So I'm gonna show you two different hairstyles for your American Girl doll. And I'm also gonna show you two outfits that I think are perfect for school, but um, maybe not that perfect because uh, crop tops, but you know, we can work around that. But let's go ahead and get started. So as mentioned in the intro of uh, crop tops, or in these outfits and that's a little bit of an issue for school dress codes because a lot of schools don't allow you to show your midriff which is understandable so if you are going to style your dolls for that or if you just don't prefer to show off too much skin on your dolls you can go ahead and choose a full length shirt so to start off with melody she is wearing this cute this cute i was like try to say gorgeous and cute at the same time this really adorable we'll say that instead a tiffany blue ringer with white accents and it is cropped it has a raw edge bottom which is super trendy right now. She's wearing these really cute embroidered shorts that I made and I did the roses on the side here with an Annika Victoria tutorial, yeah, Annika Victoria um, tutorial that I will link in the description box. And then in the coming tutorials that you will see on my channel, I'm gonna show you how to add daisy accents to your shorts as well. It gives it a really cool touch without having to do much work if you don't know how to embroider. And I think it looks so cute. And they're not wearing shoes because um, I don't know what I'd wear this. Actually, you know what? If you had, um, if I had like plain white sneakers, like Converse, then I would totally pair those with that. But I think they're gonna wear, I think Paisley's gonna wear Chuck Taylors and Melody's gonna wear some flats. And then Paisley, speaking of, she is wearing these really adorable loose fitting mom jeans that have some distressing in them, and I made these as well. And she's wearing this crop top, or it's just a regular top that I rolled up and added some ties to. And you're gonna see that in the coming tutorial as well. So now let's go ahead and get on to the hairstyles. So I'm doing a little talk through tutorial because I haven't done one of these for so long. It's been voiceovers, which I'm still trying to work out. Sorry if they're super horrible. And um, like blank text screen ones. So I'm doing, I'm gonna talk through this one. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is like if any AG hairstyle, brush out your doll's hair, spray it with water first, and you'll give it a good brush to get rid of any knots and tangles. do is just take your doll and take out two little sections of hair on either side of her head. So it should be, it can be as big as you want, just the size of them is going to depend on how big you want your little buns to be. So these are my sections, they're not too big and not too small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the right side of her face first. So I'm going to go ahead and tie the left side out of the way. There, so all you have to do is just make a little bun. So you're going to start by cutting off the section. And then once you have the section, you can just go ahead and twist it and then wrap it around itself to form a little bun. And then once you have that, go ahead and use more hair ties to secure it. You were gonna catch me. Oh, give me all this baby. Come on, pretty and nasty. Cause we're gonna bet him. I love you. Can bet it on that. We gonna double the stuff on one foot. I'll be funny and you be my cloud. We ride a dad. X is a nose. The Dutch pigtails. I have started by taking Melody's hair, brushing it out as usual, and parting it in the back so that there are two equal sections on the both sides of her head, so just how you would do pigtails normally. And I'm going to just brush it out a little bit more. And then I'm gonna pick up a small strand and I'm gonna do a Dutch braid. So Dutch braiding is super simple. It's just like French braiding, but instead of crossing the strands over, you're gonna cross them under. And I have, a, I think I have another video explaining how to Dutch braid, but I'll just go over it really quickly. So I'm going under the section here to make my first stitch of the braid. And then I'm gonna pick up a section of hair that is beside it, add it in, and then cross the section or the strands under each other. And then you're gonna do that just until you run out of hair. Okay, so once you 
are done braiding and you've braided to the point where you can't add any more hair, instead of braiding down all the way, you're just gonna secure it off with a hair tie. And then once you finish the first side, you can go ahead and do the other side. So I guess I forgot to film an outro, but anyways guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the Back to School series. I have After High and Barbie doll videos as well, and be sure you check out my Back to School playlist to see all my other Back to School videos. And yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for another video. Bye!